Kevin in Henderson, Nevada writes to me. He says, my question is now you are proclaiming <laughs> your new FR30 speakers are the best speakers you have ever owned. Could you tell us the difference over your IRS-5 system, which also once was your best system you ever owned, <laughs> and the sound dynamics between the two animals, if you will, and yes, I will, considering the price of the IRS-5 compared to that of the FR-30. That's a big gap. Thanks again for your constant knowledge flowing into our brains. <laughs> I love it. Do this is the FR30. Doesn't it look, I've started, I asked some of the guys, please put the, the grill cover back on because that is one handsome speaker, isn't it? I mean, I just think that, especially with its grill on, if I had these at home, which I do not, my wife will not allow it. We are looking at maybe the FR20s. Mm -hmm. It comes down about that high and Terry's going, ooh, that is a good looking speaker. So the FR10 or the FR20s are gonna be in our house. FR30s, nah, my, I don't know. Terry's not, she said, you have them all day at work. So when we come home, I want something smaller. And these are just magnificent. And she's right. I mean, honestly, when I come home after spending 10 to 12 hours a day here and at the studio, I am not so obsessed that I want to have an entire room to where I start listening more to the stereo system. I, I certainly play music, but honestly, when I get home after having done this, and I usually put 12 hours a day in, I, I, I want to do something different. I want to cook. I want to watch some stupid television program. I want to read a book. That's me. So for me having these in there, eh, but for most people, these are just the most amazing loudspeakers, and you probably don't work 12 hours a day doing this. <laughs> I can only imagine there's only so many nut jobs on the planet like me. Hopefully, there are only so many nut jobs on the planet like me. Okay, so the difference between this and the IRS-5. Well, probably the single biggest difference happens to be one of the most important differences in, in my thought process, and that is the ability to make magic. And by magic, what do I mean? I mean this, this elusive idea of the speakers disappearing and the musicians and the soundstage in an area behind the loudspeaker, completely divorced from the room and the speaker, to where I can turn the lights low, close my eyes, and oh my God, there they are, right there. If you come for a tour, we'll play you stuff that most people have never had the joy of hearing, and you'll hear it on the FR30s. This sense of disconnection from the speaker. This sense of this soundstage magic is so much better with the FR30 than the IRS-5. It's hard to describe, but it's there. And when I heard it, I just thought, oh God, I knew this day was coming. I knew the day, because the IRS-5s were my dream speaker. I always wanted to own a pair of them, and I did. And they are amazing but these blow them away in terms of realism in terms of just making magic that's the easiest way i can say it now when we put on pink floyd and welcome to the machine which speaker would i rather listen to just for that roller coaster ride the irs5 the irs5 still it, it's big and brash and like scare the pants off of you, big. And when you hear something like that, you're like, geez, Louise, it's a, it's, it literally is a roller coaster ride. But for overall listening, for 90% of what I do, instead of just trying to you know, impress somebody by, hey, check this out, 
the FR30s are a much better, more realistic, more magic loudspeaker. And I think that's the big difference. And for me, that's over. I can't have both. So this is the one I'm going to pick. So hope that helps. All right.